Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to another 3D Printed Gamer. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit more in-depth. I'm going to walk through the process of creating a thing. Uh, and today's thing is uh, a firing arc template, or I guess is it firing arc? Not so much firing arc, but uh, really the quadrants of a, a miniature base. You can call it firing arc, that's fine. They're usually used to indicate uh, the front half or even the specific very front of a miniature. Uh, War Machine players will be familiar with this concept uh, as would Infinity players, although the reason I'm making these is because the uh, Alien vs. Predator game uses uh, marked bases. And so I have a bunch, I think 20 bases that I need to mark. And I figured, although there's other ways to do it, you could just, uh, print out a piece of paper with a proper size circle with the, you know, with some lines drawn on it, and then you can hand paint the, the lines. I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I had a painting template that I could use the airbrush and sort of make more precise markings and it would go a lot faster. Now, of course, the downside to that is, well, all that time that I have, I'd save by having uh, a template, I'll lose by making the template in the first place. And, and that's totally true. <laughs> On the other hand, when I'm done, I will have templates and I won't have to waste time with it. But what we're looking at here are sort of my first two incarnations, because let me, let me tell you the, the sort of process that I went through, uh, thought, the thought process I went through while doing this. And the first was, and this is actually, so these two that I'm sort of waving the pointer over here, they're kind of flashing. Uh, these are actually, this is my second iteration, or maybe even my third but they represent kind of my early thought on this. And my early thought on this was, um, rather than print out that piece of paper that had lines on it, I would print out a little piece of plastic that had lines on it. And it would accomplish essentially the same thing. It would just show me where to hand paint those lines. And they were perfectly functional in that capacity. Um, but the problem with them, well, the, it wasn't even really a problem, but as I was, getting ready to use them, I said, you know, I could just create a painting template. And so that brings us to uh, our second iteration here. And as you can see, they sort of have that inverse sloped base look. And then uh, sort of that cross opening that would show you front, back, side, side were you to spray through that onto the base. Now, this looks like, well, good, you're done. Well, not really. And the problem with these is that if you look here, you can even see, if you look closely here, notice how that opening doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the base or the top of the template, as you can see. And the reason for that is, is you know, uh, otherwise, I was going to have four pieces as opposed to one cohesive piece. And if I just made the whole thing deeper, I could have gone all the way down to the bottom of the base. So I actually tried, I printed this out last night and tried it out. It works, but it only prints, you know, this sort of upper edge. And then I want it to go all the way to the bottom. And the easiest way for me to fix the problem is to just rebuild it from scratch and I will then and then you can kind of see how I got there in the first place so I'm gonna make these a little bit deeper than they were before and and oh sorry about that I'm gonna make these a little bit deeper than they were before but that also sort of creates does it create an issue it doesn't really create an issue. Okay, well, well, we'll figure it out. Anyway, so we're gonna start with a box. And I'm gonna do the 40 millimeter 
base first, and that, that'll be the one I show you all the way through. And then I'll go do the uh, 30 millimeter one on my own. All right, so 40 millimeter. So I'm gonna go down here to the bottom so I can actually type in. Since this is gonna be the 40 millimeter base, I'm gonna give make it a little bit uh, bigger than that, obviously. So these are gonna be 45 millimeters, and then the base itself is four millimeters tall. So let's make it, I think I originally made just made it five millimeters, which is why I'm having these issues. So let's say eight, we'll double the size of it. Eight millimeters. All right, so there's our base that we're building this around. Now, we are going to create, let me see. This is gonna be a little bit different than I did it before. Um, well, let's, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of work it the same way that I did previously. So I'm gonna put a cylinder, and as you can see, the, the cylinder will actually snap right to the center. All right, oh, nope. Sorry, I'm thinking, so I'm not, I'm not really, <laughs> I got stuff going on in my head. Uh, all right, so the radius of this, so this is for the 40 millimeter base, so you'd think the radius would be 20, but no, I need it to be a little bit bigger so that I don't, ha I don't have it fitting perfectly in there and then impossible to get out. So I'm gonna make it uh, 20.5. And we'll make the height, so that we made the height of the whole thing uh, 40, no, four, no, eight. Sorry, wow, my brain, trying to talk and think at the same time, is really tough. Um, all right, so that's eight. We will call it six. Let's go with six. All right. Now, um, okay. So the next thing we need to do is create the, well, it's really weird. I just created all these things yesterday and now I seem to be having some issues in figuring out exactly how I want to approach this. I need to create the, the openings that we spray through. So that's gonna be using a box again. And I want the length to be 45. I want the width to be two. And that can obviously be whatever size you want, but two seem to be like a nice, it's thick enough, but not too thick. And then we're gonna make the height. So the height of the whole thing is eight. The height of the base is four. Let's make it five. And let's make a copy of that. So I'm just gonna do Control C, Control V, and then I'm gonna take the copy and move it off to the side and rotate it around 90 degrees. But let's take this one. And see, so this is where, <laughs> where I had this all figured out last night. Um, yeah, that's fine, okay. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna move it. And we're gonna drop it down into, no, we don't wanna move it. We wanna extrude it. All right, and extruding is essentially making it bigger or smaller, but here's, here's the fun thing. See, oh, look, I'm making it smaller. Now I'm making it smaller even still and it's going into the other thing and creating a trench so let me see this is one two three four that's the entire thickness of the base we'll go one extra millimeter there 
All right. And then we take the other one and we move it. And I think that's already centered, isn't it? I think I had that centered on there. Okay. And then we extrude that down. Okay, that's zero, one, two, three, four. Is that how far I did it? Yeah. Okay. So now we've got our opening there. And now we need to... All right. Um, so I want to. This is this is essentially our base. Just imagine this uh, this this portion here. Oops. This portion here is the miniature base, and we're going to use this as a a tool to hollow out this space, as in that. So in order to do that, I need to first round off its edge. And I'm going to use, whoop, whoop, there it is. God damn it. The fillet tool. So with the fillet tool, you select an edge. And then you play with the little... Thing. The problem here is that I don't remember. Oh, okay. So we'll have two, three, four. There, four. Excellent. So it says fillet radius is four. That leaves an extra millimeter, which is sort of our little kind of slop. And that is our 40 millimeter base with a little bit extra. Now I'm going to take that 40 millimeter base. I am going to rotate it 180 degrees. And see now it's sitting down there. Now I'm going to take this down. We can't just extrude this into the base here because it's now kind of a weird shape and it won't extrude properly. But what we can do is... Uh, we can just move it. Down into. Wait, what just happened? Move. Click on that. There we go. Let me see. That's five, six. All right, so we've moved it so it's essentially flush with the top here, which is good. That's exactly what we want. So now we're gonna use another tool because um, we wanna subtract the base from the template. So that is here. There's the subtract tool. So the template is our target. And then it wants a source. So I'm going to select the base. And then I'm just going to hit enter. Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, I did this wrong. Um, let me see. Undo. That's wrong because um, I need this to be turned over as well, which meant I didn't really need to turn this over. Okay, so let's let's flip this back over on its uh, on its other side. Oh, 
No. Okay, so <laughs> see, you got to remember that the uh, these openings on the top need to be need to go through to the base, and I didn't do that. So now what I need to do is move it again, but this time I'm going to move it to the bottom. All right, here we go. Is that right? Yep. Eight millimeters is correct. There. See, now you can see that the base, you can see the base through the openings, which is where we would spray. All right. I think that's, I think that's going to work. All right, so now we're going to subtract target source. There, let's look at the other side. There, that looks right. Okay, so the only thing left to this, wait. Wait. Shouldn't this line up with this line? Hmm. Hmm. It probably should. How didn't I make that five millimeters? You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for now and we'll see how this worked out and uh, we'll print it out and we'll see what happens. So I'll see you at the printer. All right. So there it is printed out and ready to go. And here's our 40 millimeter base. Fits right in there as it's supposed to. So I'm going to need something to hold this with. And I'm going to use some blue tack. And we'll go ahead and use some of it as well to just keep it in place. So it's not sliding around. There we go. And just so that we can see what we're doing, I'm going to use a little white primer with the airbrush. So it works, but this version didn't correct the issue that I had last time. And that issue being that it doesn't come all the way down. So I am going to go ahead and do another version of this. But at least you've gotten to see what I'm trying to accomplish, how I'm trying to accomplish it, and uh, that it doesn't always work right the first time. Uh, I hope to come back and show you a functional one uh, just so that you know like what I think went wrong here. The, my original or the, the last version of this, the base was flush with the top and so clearly there couldn't be enough uh, clearance for the the paint to cover all the way down to the bottom of the base. So I gave it more space for it to be able to do that, but clearly I didn't 
include enough of a cut here to allow that to happen. I think I needed at least one more millimeter. Uh, let me see. Well, almost two more millimeters in order to go all the way to the bottom. So, so this needs to be taller and this recess needs to be bigger. So I'll keep going and eventually I'll get it right. In the meantime, that's going to do it for All right, hold up. We're not quite done here. Uh, when I got finished with that last video or that last segment, I had an epiphany and that I was doing this all bass backwards and I was trying to think top down instead of bottom up. And since my problem before was that I wasn't getting it all the way around to the bottom, it was because I was trying because I was trying to get it so that uh, the, the, well, you know what it looked like. Anyway, uh, I decided that instead of trying to shoot down more from the top than from the bottom, and that made no sense because the, the important part of what I need to spray is at the bottom and not at the top. So I went back and redid it. And I got perfect markings. Wrapping all the way around from top to bottom. Works every time. And that's it. So, it all turned out well in the end. So that is going to do it for this one. And again, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.